Hey Rick fans and welcome to Rick Bakery where all our jokes are half baked and most our bricks are medium rare. Welcome, welcome back to this Friday live stream. We are continuing building the 75 930 Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate. And this is just about how far we got last time. Got, got to blah, 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 blah. finished a couple of dinosaurs. The Indoraptor, the Blue Raptor, and most of the um, most of the front for the Lockwood Estate. And um, yeah, today I'm gonna finish uh, bags four, five, and six. And I hope you'll stick around for that because we usually have a good time. I see that a couple of people have already showed up. It's Hairbond uh, three. Hmm, Hairbond three. Welcome, 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 my friend and Stephen Warner and Addison Versus. Welcome all three. Hope you are having a great Friday. I know that I am because I am building Lego. Wow, wow. I like these. I think this one is weird. I always, I'm, I'm, I'm not too fond of that whole direction of the uh, uh, Jurassic World uh, series that it's, it's, it's now they're designing monsters instead of trying to recreate dinosaurs. But, but that's just me. I am a real fan of the old, the first Jurassic Park movie. That's my, that's my jam. That's my jam. Oh well, we better get on to it because this set is actually uh, a little, uh, a little bigger than most uh, than the other uh, Jurassic World set I do have. So. We're gonna move right along here and open up bag four. So, do, 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 do like this. And um, yeah, I use these green uh, trays here. These are very, very good for uh, storing bricks while you are building. And it's an early Saturday morning here in Japan, says Addison versus really. Um, yeah, that would fit about right with the time, wouldn't it? So good morning, Addison. I hope you're doing great over there in Japan. And I can, I can do this. Um, yeah, the time difference is really a thing that I'm, I, I have been. Hey, lady brick skater, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we were just, uh, I was just about to say that um, the time and time difference is something I have really, really been, been, been thinking about when I, I, I started out. Uh, live streaming because I wanted to find a time of day where most people could participate from around the world and um, I think I think this is uh, this is probably a good spot I realize now that I've forgotten my water how unprofessional hey blocked UK welcome 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 finally yes you're back wonderful good to see you but I have to just scooch for a bit because I need some water I'll get past sorry There we go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I um, I uh, seem to have forgotten all about my water. I always have water. I never, I never don't have any water. So yeah, there we go. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Lady, Lady Brick Skater says there's a way to cater for everyone around the world. Do it for 24 hours. Well, I think uh, Legolomaniac has proven that that is possible, but also that it is very, very hard work. I, um, I'd love to try to do that someday. Uh, it would be fun uh, to, to see how well it would go, but um, I'm pretty sure that uh, Legolomaniac, he, he, he did the thing. And um, for me, that's, uh, that's plenty. I, I'm, not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that I need to try to copy that because that was really really impressive really impressive i really enjoyed being a part of that that is for sure hello mock brick and galagade and watch up teacher hello 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 my friend welcome 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 
Welcome to this Friday night live stream. I see Marfan20. You are invisible. Mm, all right. Well, okay. Um, yeah, welcome one, welcome all. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday and that this is going to be a great weekend for you. I hope I'm going to have a great weekend. I usually do, actually. So uh, this one is probably going to be the same. Ba -ba 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 I'm almost at 50 subs, says Stephen Warner. Good. Congratulations. That is the first great milestone. 50 subs. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, it has to be 50 before it can be 51. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least my chat messages when you were getting water. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Um, my fan, I hope, uh, I hope it won't happen again. Uh, it's not always that YouTube behaves in a way that that um, we'd like it to. It's it usually usually it has its own ideas about how everything goes down. And uh, yeah, so so this is a, this is a little um, this is a little awkward now because this is so tall and I almost can't have it inside the picture. But I I need you to see as well. I think I think we'll do this. And then we'll do this. This this is pretty good. And then no, because you can't see this. Like this. This is good. Yeah, I think. Um, so what's new in the world of Lego? Mm, yeah, we did get the ideas. Um, the ideas review did get a. Um, uh, 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 they made a decision on which set should be. Produce, produced as a Lego idea set, an official Lego idea set. It turns out it's a bunch of dinosaurs, which is very, very fitting, I think. Wow. Um, so that, uh, that that's very interesting. And it seems they are still reviewing. They're still reviewing. Um, they are still reviewing the uh, playable pl piano, which is pretty cool. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there was a bunch of um, bricks in there that was not normal lego bricks but made from some kind of metal or something because if there wasn't i'm pretty sure they couldn't tune that thing uh, my understanding of strings is that they need some very 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 strong material to be uh to be tuned like that Ooh, we got a small mini video lady brick skater says jacob will you do more appearances on beyond the brick Hmm, <laughs> that's a good question uh yes i will be doing more appearances on beyond the brick um, I am I, I am working on different stuff right now. I won't tell you any more than that because I'm not sure I'm, I'm allowed to actually. Not that it's a secret per se. I just I just don't want to. Um, they have a schedule and uh, they release videos at certain times and maybe they want to surprise people. But the short answer to that question is yes yes i will be appearing on beyond the brick again and i'm looking very much forward to that it's 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 um it's really really interesting it's cool i really like that Edison Versus says Bricklink also published some images for the packaging for the A4 line. Yeah, I saw some of that. Hey, it's Sean Harris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Pixel Bricks. Welcome, welcome, Pixel Brick. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great. Do you miss the Brick Show? Yeah, interesting story about that one because uh, I, I, when I got, um, when I started my YouTube channel, I, I hadn't, um, you know, you start out um, doing this YouTube thing and you. I hadn't, I hadn't seen any other uh, Lego YouTube channels really before I started my own. So uh, once I started my own, I started digging around to see everything, and um, I only discovered um, the Brick Show very, very, a very short time before they got shut down for some uh, for, for some reason. I believe there was a was it a uh, was it a, uh, a copyright strike of something. But anyway. I, I never really I never really got around to watch any of their stuff for real before they were shut down. So it's hard for me to say that I I miss it, but um, it's a bit it's a bit weird to get in in, uh, in into this and then it's it's gone just before you even know know about it. Uh, 
Mob brick, why don't you build Technic sets? Uh, well, I, I've never this. Uh, and speaking of, this is Technic, mm -hmm. Technic, Technic thing pin. Yes, I built Technic, but not more than this. Um, the the, the, sh the long and short of it is that uh, I'm not really interested in technically. So I find some of the models, most of the models, many of the models, I find very very impressive um and 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 i can see why people uh would like building them but it's not for me i don't find it very interesting and i don't think i can actually figure it figure it out i'm i'm i'm, I'm not very technical <laughs> if that's um so so yeah i'm not sure that um that 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 that, that, that it's actually for me uh like what like this i need to move this guy and like this, I think. It looks about right. Uh, here we go. No, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, yes, there we go. Oh, hey, hello, Robin Hall, Robin Hall, Robin Hall. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you're doing great on this Friday evening. We've just started out building part two of this set. Uh, whoop. The Brick Show was one of the first LEGO channels, or any channels for that matter, that I watched, says uh, somebody who just disappeared. Stephen Warner. Oh, yeah, well, that's pretty interesting, actually. It's a, it's, a, it's a shame when something you've been following for so long just suddenly disappears, I, I imagine. So, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Do, 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 do. What? So this goes in here. Okay. Hmm. I think there's gonna be some kind of mechanism up here, but I can't really, I can't really figure out what it's gonna be right now. What's gonna be right now? What's king? Right now. Hey, the Lego room. Hello, Mark. Hope you're doing great this Friday evening, and uh, that you are gonna have a great weekend. It's great to see you. I wonder what's going on with your Star Wars mock at the moment. I'm not sure I've seen an update from that for some time now. What's what's the news, Mark? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. Uh, what's the news, Mark? Any news? Any news at all? Anything you want to share? Hmm. hmm? We'd love to know. It is. Uh, well. Okay, so this can turn around for, for no. Okay. Well, that's good. And here we go with the roof. Roofing is good. Roofing is good. So, no, but as I was saying, um, Lego had, has just released the uh, uh, decision of which set is going to be the new idea sets. And it is a flock of dinosaurs. And I think, of course, that makes a lot of sense, both because they have the whole Jurassic World line, but also because they have that exhibition at uh, the Lego house which is a flock of uh, three dinosaurs um, at different stages so that's uh, that's 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 cool uh, and and so so them selecting dinosaurs does make a lot of sense doesn't it i mean that that that's logical to some degree so so yeah good choice i think it looks interesting um not sure i'm gonna get it as you guys know i'm not too interested in things that are not minifigure scale so if it isn't I'm not necessarily too interested, but I can appreciate how good it looks. That's for sure. So I see that this one should go here. Uh, so when can we expect the next Bakersfield update, uh, says Cass. Well, first of all, hmm, it's called Bakersville. Hmm. No, um, I think it's going to be in about 14 days. Fortnite, maybe somewhere thereabouts. I think uh, I've been working hard on some stuff in there, and um, really looking forward to uh, to uh, showing it to you. And Lego Room says should have a new video out tomorrow or Sunday, which will have a big shout out. For <coughs> sorry for Lego Maniac as he helped me out. Good, very good. I know that he helped you out with that gate for your for your mock so tomorrow or sunday we should check out um we should check out 
uh, the Lego Rooms channel because he will be doing an update on his fantastically, impressively large uh, Hoth mock. That's very cool. Uh, Robert Hall says, I think the new Lego idea set is awful. Hmm. I, hmm. Awful. Awful is a, is a strong word. I don't know if I think it's awful. I do find it interesting. I'm, um, I'm, I, I, I'm wondering why it wasn't that, uh, it wasn't those, uh, b b b um, what you call it, those small food stands. Because these, those were great, and they would fit right in their in their focus on uh, on uh, theme parks and such. So, so I'm wondering why that wasn't uh, the one that won. But I'm I'm not sure. I think it's awful. But I am looking forward to see how it will look once it is um, complete or once it's had the um, the um, Lego designers look at it. That's all right, Cass. I actually had a hard time remembering it, uh, remembering it in the beginning as well. So. No what is no what is no what is but I will correct you <laughs> uh, hey mini me bricks welcome 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 my friend long time since I've seen you here good to have you with us hope you're doing great and hope you're gonna have a wonderful weekend I probably won't get the ideas dinosaurs I already have plenty of things in my house to attract too much dust says Cass and uh, Ron Hall says, I'm sure the food stands didn't get approval because Lego are probably already working on something similar. I think I, I, that's very clever. Very, very clever, uh, Robert Hall. I think you might be right. That would uh, make a lot of sense. And it would also make a lot of sense that it were that they will be that they are working on something like that because uh, they are build, they are sort of lining up the whole um, the whole uh, theme park thing right now see the new um the new uh this is right okay all right this, this is not loose enough uh the new uh the new three in one creator sets are also based on ooh, there's a functionality here ooh, it can boom huh. uh the new three in one sets are also based on um, Theme parks. So it does seem that the Lego are going that way. And the Woodshop teacher says, I have my first city update video today with a shout out to Daryl from Bevan Spricks. That's a good idea. It's been a while since we've seen anything from Daryl. I believe he's in the middle of moving, but he does do great stuff. And um, I think I've seen you comment on some of his videos, Woodshop, Woodshop teacher. Woodshop teacher. Uh, so yeah. Great, great guy, uh, and uh, Woodshop Teacher also has an interesting channel, um, a city update. You could go check that out once you're done watching this little uh, this uh, live stream here, because um, it is interesting the stuff that he's doing over there. Uh, I always notice your streams when they are over, says Mini Me P Bricks. <laughs> I think um, I think that's actually that's, a, that's something that's happened to some folks once in a while. I believe that once again the YouTube notifications do have their own private idea of what it means to notify people. Usually it means that they notify people to say, "Hey, you missed this. You missed this." I knew that it was going on, but you, you missed it because I didn't tell you like I should have. So you missed this. I think uh, maybe that's the job of um, of the uh, YouTube uh, reminders thing. So that's good. I'm much more excited for the new creator expert Luna Lander, which will be excellent at attracting dust, says Cass from Blockhead UK. And I agree 100%. Now that is a set I am actually very interested in. And this whole 50th anniversary of uh, the lunar landing is something that has gone, got, got me a little hyped, I've got to admit. And I am slowly trying to convince myself that buying the Saturn V is still a good idea. I have been looking around for it and it does seem that I can get it at a fair price. I can't get it cheap. I can get it cheaper than what it was originally but i cannot get it cheap per se so yeah i'm looking into that and definitely that lunar lander and the uh, 
the new um, the new uh, Mars mission sets look interesting as well. So there's going to be plenty plenty of stuff to buy that can collect dust. <laughs> Uh, the Lego Room says um, buying Saturn V is a very good idea and it seems that Cass is supporting that notion by saying the Saturn V is a superb build yeah yeah and a um, uh, space space exploration uh, aficionado like myself should have a set like that it's not really got the Saturn V for Christmas says Edison versus great and bird bricks hello 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 my friend welcome 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 hope you are doing great and that you are having a nice friday we are still building the jurassic world sets the into indo raptor rampage at lockwood estate uh, which is uh, a set i started last friday and i am trying to finish it today and i think i am building a triceratops uh, uh, uh what, what you would call it triceratops uh, uh, cranium skull thing which is uh, pretty nice actually I like that I like that they've done so much to actually replicate something like this which is the sound every dinosaur makes of course it is I like that that's a very that's that's a very neat technique using all these modified one by twos uh, with a, uh, s a pin on it and this little technique piece and then a a, a a modified one by two brick with studs on the side that makes it possible to do like this and then you can stand like this that's very clever i like that uh youtube won't let me go live on my computer says bird bricks hmm, i don't know um google it that's my best best guess google it you probably can find the answer Hmm. Uh, Robert Hall says I saw a chap buy the Saturn V in the Lego store today he looked very pleased with himself I can't imagine that that's something uh, that would make people look very pleased with themselves I think um, if I ever get around to, to buying it I, I will be looking very pleased that's for sure because it is it is cool and I like that that funny little detail where it's got what is it 900, 1969 pieces in it that's a great detail i i really like the guy who uh the guy who who who, who, who designed it like that really he, he he thought something you know he, he he had an idea when he he started out doing that and uh, turned out turned out like a wonder i i did something wrong do 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 yeah well it's not going to be the last time that's for sure that's for sure yeah Oh, it's one of those where you have to take everything apart to really get yeah sure thank you hello Brickspiration studios welcome 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 my friend i met some friends in the northeast and we visited the lego store leanne came out of the shop with the saturn 5 and blamed me <laughs> says kaz uh I, i'm i'm mm -hmm. are you a bad influence kaz are you hmm are you hmm well i guess if if it's the if it's the right friends it's not hard to be a bad influence is it sometimes people want to be influenced badly and they'll they'll make decisions by themselves and then they'll blame other people which is actually kind of smart of course you know you can always go home and say to your significant other someone else made me do it i wasn't i'm not to blame <laughs> no comment says blockhead uk well I believe you. I believe you. Whatever you, whatever you say in this, uh, in this uh, relation to this, I, I, I believe you. And unoriginal brick name. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you are doing great on this Friday evening. It's been a while since I saw one of your videos, hasn't it? That's not good. Um, Boof, 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 boof. Gotta check your channel in uh, not too long, I think. Oh, I need to put in more of these. Ah, well, this is great. I like the way they did this. This is very cool. Um, the way they did this, um, this uh, neck shield thing. 
which probably has a name. Uh, it's probably Latin, and I don't probably can't really pronounce it. Do 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 do. Phew. So this goes here. Well, that's nice. I like this. I think that's very convincing, actually, for what it is. Hmm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 my dad wants the Stranger Things set, and is trying to convince my mom to let him get it. <laughs> I don't want. I don't watch the show, so I don't really care for it. I think it is a beautiful set. I think it's uh, a really, really creative design. I'd love to see it in real life. I'm not sure I'm gonna get it though, because I really want stuff. I usually want to get stuff that's um, that's uh, to be integrated into my Lego city which you might be able to see a little bit of in the background when I lean every which way. Um, uh, yeah, I like to focus on that at the moment. Uh, it doesn't mean that I won't get anything that's not, um, that's not compatible, but um, something like the Stranger Things set. Mm, I think it's beautiful. No question about it, but... Um, I, I, there's there's other things out there that I'd want as well. For instance, the Saturn V rocket. And hello, Legolomaniac. We were actually just talking about you. And um, uh, Mark from the Lego Room mentioned how you helped him with the, the gate for his hot mock, which is very, very cool. Both the hot mock and that gate, of course. And here we have this little Triceratops head. I like this. Very, very nice detail very nice hey hey everyone i'm watching but unfortunately a little busy so i can't chat much says legolomaniac well that is all right my friend no worries no worries we are moving right along to back five yep so uh, things are going rather Oops. sorry 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 things are going rather quickly um, it's already the second bag of today, and it's only been what about 20 25 minutes. Hmm. Seems I've got my, my, my speed pants today. Good old speed pants. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. I saw Stranger Things. I saw the Stranger Things set today. It's done good in person. I just uploaded some pics to my Instagram account of the ST sofa in the Lego store. Hmm. Cool. That's, um, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Uh, in, probably I'm going to see it in the Lego store before I see it anywhere else. I don't know. I don't know anybody uh, in real life. So do I? Hmm, wonder, 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 wonder. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh. Ah. Did you know that uh, Chris Pratt is... Oh, no. I, I, I'll say this the other way around. Uh, am I right when I say that Chris Pratt is the only actor to have three different minifigures um, molded by based on his looks? This guy, the guy from Avengers, and uh, and um, and Emmett, of course. Emmett isn't as much his looks as it is just his um, his his voice, but I think he's the only one to have three. Ba -ba 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 Aaron, have you heard about new Legos? Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh man, that hot mock is so amazing. Really looking forward to see the motorization of it, says Lego Mania. Yes. Um, uh, Mark from the Lego Room just promised us that there will be a an update from his mock um, in um, in this weekend, actually tomorrow or Sunday. So be sure to look out for that. Um, I'm looking for a brick. I'm looking for a brick. I'm looking for a brick. Is this the brick? This is the brick. All right, and two of those. Boom. There we go. Doink. So. Uh, yeah, so, but anyway, that, um, Cass mentioned the Apollo 11 uh, Lunar Lander set that was just, 
I don't know if it was uh, sort of leaked images, uh, but it seems that the announcement of it has become semi semi official. Whatever it is, um, it does look interesting, and I like the fact that they are actually sort of reprising a set from back in 1970 something, uh, where they uh, where they made one of the first space sets, as far as I know, which was exactly the lunar lander. Um, in a much less detailed but still uh, quite interesting uh, quite interesting version uh, which sort of um, gave I believe sort of gave us the, the the first sort of proto ideas for the classic space line using a lot of blue for uh, for the build so that's that's interesting actually and and also interesting to see that the that the new uh, the new version of this Lula lander set is much more uh, realistic with all the grays and such which unfortunately sometimes the gray and gray in gray with gray can get a little just a little tiny the tiniest bit you know samey i don't know uh something like that so yeah well anyway i am looking forward to it and uh, i am always also looking forward to getting it because that is one i will be getting i am fairly certain I'm fairly certain. Nope. This set is very, very slim looking. Uh, Brick Bakery says Gallagate. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's it's like it's only it's only the front of the building, uh, sort of a facade. I was actually thinking if this could be used, sort of, of a, as a background thing in in in, uh, in in Bakersville, my Lego city. Um, but I think I, I, I just it would be cool to do, uh, but I don't have the room. Uh, so, yeah, there, I, I'm, I'm not going to do that with it. Um, not yet, at least. If I get more room at some point, it might be the way I, I, I'll use this set sort of as, 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 as a, a facade in the back. I believe that Mr. What's he called? Mr. Bo Boogie Boogie Boo? Bo Boogie Boo. He has a very impressive city where he uses these. Um, these uh, uh, um, facades behind everything else that he's made uh, just to give it a little more depth and I really like that it looks very good Mr. Boogie Boo? Mr. Boogie Boo I think his channel is called I think it would work great in a city if you are short on room a facade against a wall perhaps yeah that was something I was thinking of but uh, you have seen my table and there's there's not even I mean there's not even I, maybe one way I could do it, but it but this is this is too wide. It's just too deep already. Hmm. I'll have to I'll have to mull it over. That's for sure. Um, maybe I'd have to make it even slimmer to make it work. But um, yeah. Well, anyway, it is it is an interesting build. I have to say, and a lot of great tan bricks. Uh, Yes, with the weird homemaker figures for astronauts, says Cass. Yes, that's the exact set I was talking about. I believe, uh, what was he called? C Captain Mutant? C Captain Mutant? Is that what he's called? He has a, a channel here on YouTube as well. Uh, and he just gave a short overview of the uh, new Apollo set. And um, also mentioned that very, very same uh, fact. That there was this what? Oh, I see now. <laughs> you should always read the schematics all the way. Uh, it also has a lot of gold, says Cass. Gold? Oh, the new ah yeah, the new uh, the new Apollo thing. Yeah, that's pro that's probably true. Makes sense because a lot of the things that were the, the, some of the foil that was used for the uh, Luna Lander was actually gold colored. Uh, not sure if it was actually leaf gold, but um, it was at least gold colored. So, yeah. Mr. Boogie Boo, yes, thank you, Mark. It is true, that is exactly the name I was looking for. Boo and Boo. Boo, Boo. Do 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 do
Uh, Gallagate says you have to mock it up, turn it into a natural history museum, and get the new ideas set. That is uh, actually a way to do it. That's for sure. A great way to integrate that idea set in a city in a meaningful way. Hello, Void King. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you're doing great this fine evening. Brick Bakery, when is your Brick Tubers next stream session? Hmm, that's a good question. I am fairly certain that there's nothing uh, that has been planned out uh, right now and no date set. But I believe it is on people's minds, at least. So, um, at some point, but I really don't know. Sorry to say that, but I really don't know. Um, <clears throat> I believe most of the BrickTubers are actually pretty busy uh, with all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll see. There will be more, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and, um, yeah, you will get notified. You will get notified. Who plans to break tubers stuff? Uh, nobody in particular. We all do. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a collaborative effort. Uh, the woodshop teacher also says, I also like Mr. Boogie Boo, especially his station platform and tunnels. Yes, I like that whole grey uh, sort of a castle wall thing he's got uh, behind uh, everything. That's, that looks great. And, and, and I, I just like his whole setup. It is very, very nice. And the way that he's integrated lights and such. It is very, very impressive city. Very, very impressive uh, builder. And, and seems... I've never met him in real life, I've only seen him on videos, but he seems like such, such a nice guy, really. Got bored watching uh, XQC, so I came here to see you, says Void King. I have no idea what XQC is, um, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Who, um, uh, the woodshop teacher, uh, I like his farmer's market ideas and his lighting, says Gallagate. Yeah, Mr. Boogie Boom, lighting. In Mr. Boogie Boo's city is great, that's for sure. He's got that down. He's got that down. He's got that down. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> ASD, ASD, can you play Roblox with me? My user is Minecraft Blocks 34. Unfortunately, no, ASD, 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 I do not play Roblox, but thank you for the invitation. Thank you very much. Very nice of you. Very nice of you. This mine of mine, hello, 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 my friend. Good to see you. This mine of mine says, my phone's almost out of battery power and I don't have a charger, so I have to go. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your day and night. Well, see you later. This mine of mine is great to have you for... Even even if it's very blah, 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 blah. even if it oh, whoa, 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 whoa. even if it even if it was very shortly wow sometimes words words get stuck in the back of your teeth and they won't come out in a proper way which is what I just found out ba -ba 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 I'm doing something wrong. This should be this way. Boop. Uh, boop. Yes, boop says ASD, ASD. Yes, boop de boop. A good sound. I like boop. Boop. And a boop. Do. Do. So, it. Uh, what. Um, now, I am. Uh, I've been back into Lego for about a year now. Uh, a little more than that actually and um, as some maybe most of you know I have been doing this YouTube channel for just as long and uh, what amazes me is how often there's actually new sets uh, from Lego I would have thought that they would only come out you know maybe twice a year but it seems that that it, it's very few months that we don't don't get a new set, isn't it? I know it's not it's not a full theme always. It's not it's not a full line of 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 of, of sets. 
in a specific theme or something like that. But um, I, I, I'm really impressed that it, it's, it sort of keeps going just endlessly, just more, more, more. It's, of course, a, a way for LEGO to, to keep people interested and keep people buying their products. But still, I mean, it's not like it's not like every other set is just crap quality wise. It's 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 like most of it is it seems seems to be really good actually. Uh, do you have any of the sets in your leaf through magazine, or will you be getting any? You are probably referring to the two thousand seven. No, I don't think that I do. I am um, no, I don't think that I do. I don't think I have any of the sets from that. And will I be getting any of them? Hmm. I would say that I will say that there is some of these city sets that I do like, and uh, some of the creator sets that uh, those creator houses from back in two thousand seven look very, very good. Very, very good. It would be great to have in a city a sort of a an um, a variation or an alternative to um, to uh, to the uh, modular buildings, which are great, but but an alternative alternative would also be wonderful I think so yeah maybe I don't know um, yeah so maybe uh, Brock Bakery says the Lego room Brock Bakery I agree they are always surprising with massive sets like Stranger Things one yeah and 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 uh, and and the, you know yes there were some leaked images of that you know maybe what a week before it actually came out but the fact that they actually managed to 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 um, to keep it secret and then boom, it's just there. Which whoa, that's 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 pretty good. I mean, that's that's very impressive, impressive work on their uh, marketing. That's for sure. So yeah, Brick Bakery. What was your first Lego set? That's a very good question. Actually, I'm 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 not a hundred percent sure, but I do remember. Um, I made a review of a uh, mobile command unit, a police uh, van, um, and that is, at the very least, one of my very first ones. I'm not sure if it is the first one, but it is one of the first ones. Uh, so, um, yeah, that or a very small ambulance from about the same period. Um, um, I need a brick and that brick is not here wow that, oh there it is Boop. yeah so that that's probably that's probably my first step I don't I don't really remember um, Lego it's such a, 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 a it's it's just it, it's what Danish children get um, most in my experience at least if, if, if uh, so so it's it's so much a part of just what you do as a kid so so remembering something like that is a bit hard uh, i have a wa wardrobe log that is what i'm calling it lol wardrobe log oh like a backlog but for your wardrobe <laughs> uh, what is your plans for set reviews like what is your next set you are reviewing uh, asks void king hmm, i'm not completely sure but that would be out On Monday, yeah, I, I, there will be a set review on Monday, and uh, I think I, um, yeah, I think I, I went a little, uh, what do you say, off off script, <laughs> in the sense that I usually review um, review sets from my childhood collection, but uh, sometimes I will do a newer set as well, just because I think they are cool. So that's uh, probably what's uh, going to happen on monday i like the construction set in that 2007 catalog and all the big houses brick bakery says gallagher yes i agree the construction construction sets from uh, 2007 seems cool those big cranes are very very impressive very awesome indeed and uh, i think it's um I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that i'm pretty sure that um that crane those cranes, there's actually two, um, are pretty expensive to get a hold of now if you try. So um, if you can get it for a good price somewhere, you might be you might want to do that because it is 
pretty valuable as far as as I know. I think uh, it was Troublemaker, no, not Troublemaker Beats. It was um, Transform, Transformation, Road Transformations, who told me that uh, he had seen it recently, that big crane, for 400 pounds on eBay. So if you can find it for less than that, um, it seems like you're doing a great deal. I don't know if that was a mint conditioned set, but um, nevertheless, you know, boom, that's quite the price. Hello, Wolf Productions. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you're doing great on this Friday evening and that you are having a great, great Friday. Maybe you're going to have a great weekend too. I do hope so. Um, yeah, I'm having a great day. I'm still building the... Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate um, and uh, it's actually pretty interesting I, I like uh, some of the some of the some of the, some of the de 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 details I am very very bad with words today don't know what's that about what that's about um, but that is how it is um, yeah I like this roof detail up here and how it's been built actually uh, normally I would have a tendency to just think about sloped bricks but this is uh, this is a cool way to do it. Uh, a couple of uh, these four by fours, which only have one row of studs and one of these tippy things, and just put it on here, and you've got a roof. That's pretty nice. I like that. Very cool idea. Very very cool idea. They seem to be a bit more substantial than the city sets we get now, says Gallagate. Hmm. There might be some true to death, get that, oh, dead. as I just said, my words today, they they escaped me. No, um, so you're saying that the 2007 sets uh, seem more substantial than the modern day city sets. Mm, maybe I agree. Maybe it's just the size uh, of the bricks. I mean... Um, if, if, if a set is consists of say 400 pieces and they're all you know if, if all 400 pieces are this this type thing then you can get a very big one uh, with just 400 pieces but if they're all this type of pieces then you know you can't get a very big one and I'm wondering if that's what it is if, if it's just because it's big and it's big because it's got big elements and not because it's got a lot of elements and I'm wondering if that makes it more or less substantial compared to what we get now. That set looks good. The details are indeed very cool. That roof is awesome. Yes, it's actually a pretty neat, neat detail. Void King says, whatever happened to that adventurous set you found sealed? Well, it's still sealed. It's in my backlog if you will uh, I will probably do a video on it at some point but um, how on earth no oh, all right well, it couldn't be wrong then uh, I will probably do a video on it at some point uh, not sure when though and I must admit I am a little apprehensive of, of, of breaking the seal um, and for no real reason, actually, other than I'm just apprehensive about, about breaking the seal. Um, so yeah, it's still there. It's a thing still, uh, and uh, and it will be a thing still. Uh, so no worries. At some point, you will probably see it uh, on my channel again. I hope so. <laughs> Here we go. A, a a second wing of the. Yeah, there we go. Of the little Lockwood Estate. Lockwood Estate. Hello, half brick, uh, half brick films. Great to see you. Great to see you. Who saw the new Terminator Six Dark Fate trailer? I got chills. Says Wolf Productions. I didn't see it. Oh, have we lost Jacob, or is it my internet? Oh, no, it's my internet. Says Galaga. No, I think I'm here. I think I'm right here. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're having trouble watching me, then it's probably your internet. I'm sorry about that. Uh, hello, 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 hello. I'm just 
on my coffee break still at work uh, saw you were doing a live stream so thought I'd swing by and smash the like button thank you thank you half brick films that's a very very noble uh, noble deed you done there smashing my like button is great I love that great thank you for stopping by that's um that's very cool I hope you are having a great work day and that uh, work isn't too hard <laughs> maybe you can even enjoy it by thinking about some of the Lego you are going to build later on maybe in this weekend so yeah I'm supposed to put a sticker on this one but as I told you guys last time I'm not putting stickers on because I'm still not sure if I am gonna uh, part this one out for pieces for mocks or if I am gonna keep it um, yes I am that indecisive <laughs> but um, if I am gonna keep it like this set I will of course add the stickers uh, I do like these small museum uh, displays here and um, for those alone I would consider actually keeping it uh, together um, just is this right this is right this is right yes and here again this is actually pretty neat this is this is this is well done I like this um, this is a nice little detail in this build I gotta admit um, uh, you uh, yeah this looks great this is great I, I really like this this little display case here um, I'll show you guys one, once I've done it uh, oh, forgetting something like this and like this no like this and these go up here and this one here and then we take a couple of these mm. and uh, thank you half brick films thank you very nice of you to say so I hope you're gonna have a wonderful weekend uh, that's for sure so that was half bricked films great guy works hard and uh, yeah so hope he's gonna have a great weekend and that work isn't gonna be too hard uh, on him Do -do -do -do, so he can maybe enjoy the weekend as a little as well boom, 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 boom. Oops, I forgot something. Got something. Oh, cool. There we go. Here and here. And here. And here. And here. And here. So this. This is very cool. This is sort of a display case. Now, as you can see, I haven't added the sticker, but it should be... Um, be this one here this one uh, yeah so I, I, I like this I like the way they did this it's very cool I like the way they've actually achieved some depth right here and uh, made it look like a, a case that's very nice I really like that I was going to watch the Sam Raimi spider-man trilogy again this weekend really excited those were my childhood sensible productions oh well yeah I, I hope you're gonna have a good time if you do that um, I don't think I've seen those movies more than once and uh, yeah I don't have, I, I don't remember them too well I do remember emo Peter Parker but that's about it <laughs> there we go so it's now in here the display case has been added here on the inside there's a here we go the triceratops head 
put the small velociraptor here and it seems that there's also a motorbike for a certain Mr. Chris Pratt. Pratt. Then, uh, then I plan to collapse for a bit and then do a now, I'm working over the weekend and through until next Thursday. Oh, that's hard. harsh. When Then I plan to collapse for a bit and then do, do a deep clean of my Lego room. Oh, that's going to take some time. Oh, deep cleans are always hard work. But it's, um, it's usually pretty, pretty needed once you get to that. I like this one. This is cool. It's not... Um, it's a little. It has a little some some softer curves than the uh, than the um, the usual ones, doesn't it? This seems a little more old fashioned. It's very nice for Mr. Chris Pratt. So riding a motorcycle with an axe seems very, very, very safe. Very, very safe. Safety first, Mr. Chris. Safety first. Yes, this is great. You know, wow, point. So yeah, opening up bag six, the last bag of today. Oh, so much on this one. I think this one is going to be pretty repetitive because I have an idea that this is um, probably more or less a copy of what I just did but reversed. And actually not necessarily reversed because it is identical on both sides. So, whoop. yeah, I think that's, uh, yep, I was right. So, I'm going to build the same thing again. That's good. Well, see you. Uh, so uh, I can't see who is actually leaving. I think Tayshon Harris is actually the only one leaving. I don't know. Uh, there we go with this. And this. Now this is this is one of the things that um, that that does annoy me a bit with some Lego builds is that um, um, it gets a bit repetitive uh, because you have to build the same thing sort of over and over again. And um, yeah, I, 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 it, I, it, oh, it has to be really really interesting. When you do stuff like that, uh, I think uh, I'm not sure it always is. Um, but who am I to complain? I mean, I haven't built the big roller coaster ever, and I've heard that that one is pretty repetitive as well. Um, even though those pillars are all different heights, so uh, yeah. But anyway, still cozy, still cozy, still cozy, cozy, cozy. Happy birthday, Gallagate! Happy birthday. Bye, Jacob, says Tayshon Harris. Well, goodbye, Tayshon. It was good to have you with us. Hope you're going to have a wonderful uh, Friday and a wonderful weekend, too. Take care now. Take care now. Gallagate says, thank you very much for the birthday wishes. I'm too old to celebrate it. No, you're not, Gallagate. Never too old to celebrate a birthday. Every year is a gift. We should celebrate. For sure. For sure we should. For sure. Go out, celebrate. But it does, didn't you say you're going to have a barbecue? Hmm. So some celebration is going to happen, it seems. Do you have a Lego room that big or a, that's big? Or a small one. I have the room that you see here. This is my Lego room. I don't have any more space than this. Um, my city is right here behind me, taking up about eight base place base plates worth, and that's about all I have for a 
Lego City and a Lego Room. My bricks are stored in a couple of different cupboards and in some plastic boxes. Um, it means that I usually, when I build this and have it on display for let's say a couple of weeks, then I'll take it apart and put it in a bag and put it all away. Um, except for things or pieces I want to use in my Lego City. So I do have a lot of sets in storage that's taken apart and just in storage put a, that has been put away in plastic bags. It is, um, it is um, the way that I can do it right now. I hope to be moving at some point and I hope to get a bit more room for my Lego. Uh, so um, yeah. And, uh, and 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 then 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 probably I will be able to have a bigger, better Lego room, um, which would be nice. Which would be really nice. That's for sure. That is for sure. That is for sure. <laughs> Uh, right here, right here, and this one here. So, what uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to those new uh, space sets coming out, these Mars exploration sets. Um, uh, I'm mean, really looking forward to seeing that uh, minifigure pack, that people pack, filled with um, with figs that are space uh, and science related. That one, that one is going to be great, I think. And especially if you want to build some kind of laboratory or something like that, that would be really cool to have that figure pack for that. Um, I've only seen it briefly. Uh, in some videos here on YouTube um, but I have sort of a sense of what's going to be in there see there were some in jokes in it as well which is quite funny I think it was 50% off for Lego staff in stores today what what was what was mm -hmm. oh the session 5 was 50% off for Lego employees today at the Lego store that's pretty cool 50% that's quite that's quite a savings the Lego Mars exploration sets look very promising promising I'll probably get one yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna get one too um, I, uh, maybe I've already gotten one maybe I've already gotten two who knows you'll just have to watch another Lego haul video at some point and figure it out but anyway I like that um, They've actually made that um, uh, space station thing, and the space station thing looks like it's actually uh, modular in the sense that you can buy more and, and cobble them together, so you can get a very big space station. And I like that. That's a great idea. Um, I can't really figure out why Lego haven't done anything like that too often. I know that basically all their elements can. Be cobbled together in, in all the ways you want but um, they should do more where where you can sort of automatically fit stuff together I mean uh, one of the best examples is of course uh, train train wagons and train train set stuff in, in, in general um, and, and I, I, I've yet to figure out why it is that they currently don't seem to be doing sort of extra stuff for trains um, because I, I think that it makes sense to do that. I mean, you know, uh, just have have a couple of, of wagons, you know, train train carts with 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 other functions than the ones that's already in. Um, that's already already in the the basic sets. We could, you know, give, give us a give us a, a, a lumber cart or or an extra an extra. Um, people carrier something like that 
I don't I don't really understand why they aren't doing that. And 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 in other sets as well, in other themes as well, why aren't they uh, doing sets that sort of fits together automatically in some sense? Not that you you it doesn't have to be. Well, it cannot be like you know you have to have both to make it sensible. But we saw it in the um, in the Hogwarts. Which where where if each set does make sense in and of itself, but then it has a very very neat way to fit together with the other ones. I think they should do much more of that. Um, to be honest, I think it would do do them well. It would do them well. One guy bought two Millennium Falcons. Oh dear, fifty percent off on all Lego sets for staff. Wow. Oh. Well, that's um, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's really crazy. I we I, we need to be employed by Lego. It seems <laughs> they do sell cheap sets. Oh wow, fifty percent. I what? Wolf Production says those sets that fit together are really cool. Yeah, I like the, um, I really like the uh, the Harry Potter ones, uh, and the fact that there's another one coming out now that fits with those as well is is just a great, I, it's, it's a great idea. I mean, wh why not do that? Do more of that. That makes sense. It makes so much sense. I mean, it's it's Lego. Um, it's what it's all about. You know, okay, each element, each little brick can be put together every every which way you want, but. If, if there was an incentive, you know, to sort of collect it all, I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense both from a, you know, user perspective, but also from a, a producer perspective, I think. You know, because then, you know, there's the sort of an inclination to get, oh, well, I do have the two other ones, so I need the last one to finish off the castle, whatever it is. So that, it makes sense. Don't see why. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, that's just me ranting, I think. Um... The Lego room I ask, blah, blah, blah. No. Uh, I have the Aspecto Patronus on order, says Lady, Lady Brick Skater. Ooh, that's the one with the shiny deer. Is it a shiny deer? I think it is a shiny deer. Um, and that one looks very nice, I think. Um, that's one I haven't seen too much. I have seen the night bus. Uh, I think most VIP members just got a message today that they can order uh, everything if they want uh, and order it early, which is pretty nice. It's very nice to be a uh, VIP club member. You get points and everything. It's cool, which is cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed. There we go. There we go. Also eyeballing that the night bus. Yeah, it does. I really like that one. I, I've never really, uh, I've never read the books. I've seen the movies once, I think. But uh, that bus, I really, I really like that one. I really like the whole concept, the whole idea behind it. So that might be one I would get. Um, and even just put in my city because I like it. I like the whole idea with that one. Even though it is, uh, it would be out of scale and out of uh, coming from a different realism if you if you want uh, than then what i'm maybe going for in my lego city i'm not sure i'm going for a, a a sense of realism per se but you know when you're building houses and the door is in the bottom and the windows uh, are in the sides then you, you you do attain a certain certain level of realism whether you will or not um you have to sort of um, I think you have to go a bit more outside the whole uh, the whole building houses if you want to sort of play around with 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 uh, with other things such as straight up realism in your Lego city. But that's just uh, me uh, philosophizing. Philosophizing. Uh, what's not to like about a purple bus? Yeah, a purple bu bus with three floors. If I'm not mistaken, isn't there three uh, floors to it? Um, so yeah, that's, I don't know what's not to like. I agree, Cass. It is a wonderful little set. 
and happy with my 2018 Hogwarts Express, says Lady Brick Skater. Yeah, that is a beautiful, beautiful little train. I believe that Cass made a great video on how to modify it to get an engine in there, uh, which is a great modification to make, I think, especially if you have, if you have a train track that it can go around. Um, so I think that is about it. Yep, there we go. So that's the, um, that's the, whoops, here we go. That's the second side that fit here. And then I just need to build this one as well. And um, then I think we are about done for today. Oop, I need to skip the page. Here we go. Um, then we seem to be done for today. And uh, yeah, as I said a little earlier on, uh, there will be, of course, two new videos this week. Um, and the first one will be a uh, review of a set. And I, whew, I now I have to remember what's going to be up on Thursday. Well, it's going to be a video and it's going to be about Lego. But I really don't remember what it is. It may be... Oh, I can look it up here. Just a sec. This is embarrassing. I don't think I've ever forgotten this before. Uh, but uh, one time had to be the first, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Just checking it up. Just check, looking it up. Uh, no, I'm, I'm completely off my own... No, no, no. I have I have been telling lies and I didn't really want to. I'm sorry about that. No, what will be up on Monday is actually another city update. Woohoo! So you can look forward to that. That's going to be up on Monday and uh, on, on Thursday uh, it seems that I've gotten some mail that I want to show you guys. So that's what's uh, going to be up this week i hope you're looking forward to that i am looking forward to that because um i've really been looking forward to showing you guys the progress that i've made in my city um i'm really enjoying building the city and i'm enjoying it much more than i would have thought uh, initially but uh, uh but um it's really it's really yeah i'm really enjoying it i'm really really enjoying it and uh, and i hope it shows i hope it shows when you guys see that video uh, and of course as i said there will be a um, a mail time video on thursday and um, of course i will i'm pretty sure i can get time to live stream on friday again so yeah we will be back in uh, in about a week with another stream i will be back in about a week with another stream and i hope you'll all show up it's always good good to have you out here and have you with me yay bakersville update yes Cass. true true bakersville update yes i am uh, really looking forward to showing you guys that one because i think i think i'm 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 sort of getting it down now i don't i, I think I think now I'm I'm sort of figuring out where I want to um, where I want to be with the city and uh, and how it makes sense um, to me. So yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing that one and, and and I would love to hear all your comments and and ideas for it because um, I'm 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 still learning as I go along and and building mocks and such is still is still a challenge for me to build a house for instance to build a, a, a modular building that's a challenge for me still I, I i can't do that just like boom i i really need to to do something the woodshop teacher yes a new city update looking forward to that says the woodshop teacher yes i hope you will um like it i hope you'll like it because um i like doing these city updates that's for sure that is for sure do, 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 do. And 
then yes we this is um, the last few plates that's gonna go in this little set here and these are the last small fence pieces the last two tiles and a couple of technic pins and that is all she wrote took an hour 15 minutes to make the last three bags which is a little faster than the first three bags uh, but uh, yeah this is the Lockwood estate I think it is pretty impressive in its uh, sort of facade I was almost about to say size but size wise it's not it's not pretty not not too big because it's actually a uh, it's actually a uh, just a facade but it does look interesting I think and there's some very very nice side builds here as well and uh, certain Mr. Owen guy on his little motorbike and a couple of dinosaurs even though this one isn't really a real dinosaur so it looks weird it looks weird so that is all for me today i hope you guys will comment like and subscribe and i hope i'll see you guys next monday thank you for coming out it's been great and have a wonderful weekend bye for now